What's up everyone, Nanman here, and we've got another video for you. This time, we're going to be talking about what sort of stuff you need to be going to a magic event. Alright, the obvious thing to do before you go to a large magic event like SCG Con, DreamHack, or Command Fest is to kind of make a list of all the things that you think that you're going to need. But don't worry, we compiled a list in this video so you don't have to worry about it. So the first thing to determine when you're going to be going to an event is what deck to bring. Right, depending on what the event is, you might need certain different decks. But uh, for this one, like we're going to be talking more commander focus because I'll be going to uh, Command Fest Richmond this coming weekend. So, you know, if you want to get a game in, come say hi, all that kind of fun stuff. Let's try to interact and do stuff together. But you've got to ask yourself, okay, do I really need 20 different commander decks for this event? Probably not. Uh, if you're going to be going to other events, maybe you go, well, I know that there's going to be someone there that might want to play modern. Maybe I'll bring a modern deck. Oh, I really want to test out this Pioneer deck. Maybe I'll find someone to play Pioneer. Oh, what about Standard? And what about Legacy? And you start kind of spiraling of, wow, I should just start, you know, bringing my whole collection. Don't do that. That's that's the first thing, right? We're going to have these easy questions for you to help you kind of narrow it down whether or not you should bring the deck. All right. So question one, do you enjoy playing the deck? Hmm. Do you have a lot of experience with the deck? If you answered yes to either of these questions, then it sounds like you should bring the deck. What if it's a brand new deck that you've never tested or played before? What about pre-cons, CEDH, other formats like modern? If you've answered yes to those questions, you should probably bring the deck, all right? The easiest way to think about it is six to 10 decks. That's it. Across all formats, across all different power levels, six to 10 decks. Because even with 10 decks, you probably aren't gonna play them all at the event. So you have to think about that. Okay, do I enjoy this deck? Yes, well, then maybe you wanna play it. If you had to play that deck multiple times in a row, would you still enjoy that against multiple different people? I'm going in hoping to play against as many decks as possible that I haven't seen commanders for. So I'm playing with the decks that I have the most fun playing regardless of what I battle against. How am I going to be transporting these six to 10 decks with like a quiver and just sit here with all the things that I need in here? Am I going to be going with a backpack? That's our next question. It doesn't have to be this big, but the answer is backpack. You can get something small, right? Get one of these little drawstring bags. They're pretty easy to come by. You can get a smaller one. This is a big backpack that I've got that you can put a computer in, but uh, I like it because I can just put my quivers in there. I'm going to be bringing my quiver, but it's going to be in a backpack. If you're looking to this and you have a better way to transport your cards, right? Maybe you have a lot of different smaller deck boxes that you use. Even in that case, bringing a backpack is the best way to go because there are going to be other materials that you're gonna to wanna to bring besides your decks. There's going to be things like dice, tokens, all right? These things that you're going to want to manipulate or use while you're playing. Extra sleeves is a really important one that sometimes people forget about. What happens if one of your sleeves rips on your commander deck? If you don't have extra sleeves, it's going to make it very difficult. So think about these extra things that you might not be able to fit in your quiver if you're trying to bring those six to 10 decks. Our third question is, what else should I be bringing besides magic related items? Well, here's the thing if we're focusing on stuff to bring is what else do you want at an event like that? If you're going to be sitting somewhere all day playing, you're going to want to be able to have access to things like water or Gatorade, something to keep you hydrated, right? You're gonna want maybe some snacks to be able to eat. Maybe there's gonna be times where you go, okay, I know we're all gonna get lunch at this point. I know we're gonna get dinner at this point, but in between, maybe it went a little bit long. So now lunch is a little bit later. Now dinner is a little bit later because people were stuck into a game and you're waiting for people to finish. Get some snacks, bring some stuff in your backpack, come prepared. Also have something in case you get a headache. All right, this is Tylenol, Advil, whatever you might use to help yourself out. Caffeine is not really gonna be an issue because there are easy ways to get caffeine when you go to convention centers, all right? There's often coffee shops, all right? 
different ways to get sodas, things like that. So you shouldn't have to worry about that. But I'm talking about the things that are important for you to keep with you just in case. Another cool thing about Magic Fest uh, that you should be considering when you're going is, okay, who else is attending this? All right, am I going to want to get pictures with people? Am I gonna to want to get things signed? Uh, Command Fest Richmond, the one thing that I'm super excited about is the access to the artists. There are some amazing artists that are coming. I'm really looking forward to getting some cards signed. So that means that I have to be able to have those cards with me at the time. I also need to have some money to be able to tip these artists for their time to sign my card. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about it. There's also going to be lots of like amazing content creators at these events that are going to be doing cosplays or other type things. That's at least a quick and easy, hey, if you take these things with you, easy, you'll have a great time, right? But be prepared, top things to make sure that you remember, right? Something to keep you hydrated, right? Extra supplies that you need for your decks. That's sleeves, that's dice. Don't necessarily need tokens, but you know, for those that like to have infinite tokens with them, that's always a great choice and option. But that's gonna do it for this episode. Again, I'll be over at Command Fest Richmond, so you guys can come say hi. If you're following on Twitter, you'll know more information. So make sure you guys are checking out all of those links down below to find out more stuff that I'm doing. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching, and I'll see you guys next game.